We have seven games for you today and all of them either already are free to play or will be free to play and free to earn very, very soon. It's time to take a closer look at the technical side of things and how you can actually earn in these games and also kickstart the upcoming bull market with a video that will blow your mind. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the Inspector, aka the Triple P, and all I ask of you is to take half a second and smack that like button. It only takes you half a second and means so much to me and to the YouTube algorithm. And with that being said, let's get this show on the road. Number one, Lord of Dragons. We really are at the crossroads for crypto games right now. Crypto games are becoming more and more fun and the earning element is kind of fading into the background a little bit. With so many unsustainable games just tanking because of their price drop, Lord of the Dragon, along with all of the games on today's list, kind of focus more on the fun to play side of things. So this is a game on the Binance Smart Chain, it is in the beta version right now, and this is their tokenomic system. So players can earn their two coins, the Lord of the Dragon reward token and the Lord of the Dragon game token. The reward token is earned while you enjoy the game. This token allows the players to cash out direct profits, or you can buy various items in the game, like skins, weapons, and just all the cool fun things you're used to getting inside of any game, but this time you're doing it with an actual currency. So these items will make your character stronger, and in turn, your character getting stronger allows you to earn more reward coins. So yes, the game is free to play, and everyone who downloads it will have a chance to earn the reward token from completing 10 different daily tasks. You don't need to purchase any additional NFTs or anything to do this. The official game launch is supposed to take place in Q1 of 2023, so around this time right now. Hey, hey you, yeah you, do you wanna earn a free iPhone 14 Pro or a thousand five hundred bucks in USDT for free? Check the description of this video to learn more on how to win this giveaway. Just gotta sign up on Bybit and some things. You'll see in the description, all right? Game number two, The Sandbox. All right, The Sandbox, hear me out. I know, we talked about The Sandbox all the time. I have a separate video talking just about The Sandbox. It's been some time, okay? It's been some time. The Sandbox is officially out now. It does say it's still in the alpha version, but you can earn in the game. And so the way to earn right now inside of The Sandbox is by joining the raffles at the end of each of their seasons. You join the raffles, by completing the raffle related quests. You can find everything about each season on their website and so by completing the specific quests you can rise up on the leaderboards for the raffle. Now the raffle is not random, the higher you score the more you will earn and you get paid in the sand token. Now the sand coin has a market cap of just under 1 billion and a circulating supply of over 1 billion coins. So the price of the sand token is 0.65 dollars at today's values but looking at the old time high it was sitting at 7.5 dollars at the peak of the bull market so looking at the fact that we're about to enter a bull market very very soon probably even this year i would stack those sands if i had more free time so if you do have more free time i recommend you download the sandbox all the links you will find in the description down below and you can start earning your sand now, this is much better to just generate as many coins as possible and sell during the bull market. I would recommend that for any game really, but specifically for the Sandbox and Gods Unchained, that's how I would do it. Talking about Gods Unchained... Game number three, Gods Unchained. Gods is currently sitting at $0.25 and Gods Unchained all time high was 7.2. So very similar to the Sandbox, but it did have a considerably bigger drop than the sandbox. Now, then again, Gods Unchained wasn't around, as far as I can see, for the peak of the bull market. It just, just started as the bull market was ending. Now, their market cap is considerably smaller than the market cap of the sandbox, but Gods Unchained is some of the most fun I've had playing a crypto game ever, because I'm a huge fan of card games, and this is a card game. It's not even about having the NFT cards, it's all about playing the 10 ranked games per day. As long as you play the 10 ranked games per day, the better you place in those in those games so for example if you win all 10 games you have you will earn much more gods 
tokens. Now, how many tokens can you earn? As far as I have tried, and I had a very good win to loss ratio, about eight wins and two losses for playing ranked games. I was earning, and I still am earning, about just a little less than one coin per day for that. So that's when you, when you look at the dollar value, that's nothing. That's 0 0.2 dollars a day, not even that much. But when you look at the all-time high value, and when you consider the bull market is about to start, and when you consider that I actually have fun playing this and I'm just collecting the coins at this point and not really selling anything and I'm not gonna sell until we get into the bull market who knows how many coins I will have generated by then which is the whole point of this you have fun a little bit of fun and you earn on the side number four undead blocks Yes, Undead Blocks, you can earn Z-Bucks if you have their NFT. The NFTs will be for rent very, very soon. I have two of the NFT packs, and I'm not even playing this game too much. So I can't wait for the rent feature. I'm going to be able to rent those out, and you guys will be able to play for absolutely free. Now, that's supposed to come uh, a little bit later this year. So 2023, but a little bit later in the year. And then you'll be able to just rent someone's NFT and try to earn with that. So you earn by completing certain challenges. So this is a zombie killer game game you kill zombies waves and waves of zombies it's pretty fun uh, the gameplay is okay I wouldn't say it's revolutionary I wouldn't say it's something new or something amazing but if you can earn in the game and earn those undead coins then that's amazing but this is how I got my skins I have actually staked their coins for both nine months and 12 months I have logged the coins and I have earned 780 coins from staking in the commander pool and almost 2,000 coins from staking in the veteran pool now I have invested a considerable amount for this but I also got the NFT skins that allow me to earn that I can later rent out but considering how much the price of the undead token has dropped so we are at 0.2 dollars right now and if we go to the all-time high as you can see I just shifted down from 2.1 uh, it was around 0.8 up until one dollar where I was buying these coins so so even with all the coins that I earned from staking and even with my two NFT packs that I can sell now for 0.1 0.2 ethereum I am still at a considerable loss because of how bad this asset has performed as far as the next game is concerned I have done a separate video on it just a couple days ago the game is called number five dead drop dead drop and it's supposed to be released next year. Now, currently it is not free to play. Currently it is in the very, very early alpha stages and it is absolutely, gameplay wise, the best crypto game, the best Web3 game that I have played. It is so much fun. The gameplay loop that they worked on is amazing. The map that they have created is amazing. Huge fan of what they're doing. They're not gonna have a native playthrough and support or coin, but they will have NFTs. So you will be able to extract, so, so to say, NFTs from inside of the game. As you play the game, you enter this huge building, this huge arena, if you will, and you will be able to find items all across the map. Now, if you die, you lose everything that's on you. But if you do find an NFT item that is worth a lot of money, which potentially will happen a lot, and someone kills you and brings it out with them out of the game, they have potentially robbed you of a lot of money. So you will have to pick up the NFT. You will have to try and extract with the NFT to go back into your lobby, and then you'll be able to sell it. That is the premise. It sounds amazing. It is amazing. I have played it. You can watch my full video on it if you want to after you're done watching this video because we have some great games coming up here. And then also, if you're interested, for Gods Unchained, The Sandbox, and Undead Blocks, I have separate videos reviewing all of those games. Now, I told you, wait. We have some great games coming up. We have two more games coming up. Number six, Champions Arena. Champions Arena is free to play NFT support. It is on the Gala Games blockchain. It is a turn based RPG, and I'm a huge fan of turn based games. So I'm gonna be honest, turn based games just have a really good appeal to me. And so basically, the way it works is you pick up the champions, you kind of you build a deck similar to a card game, but you don't play cards, you put them on the field, and all of the champions, all of the fighters basically have different kind of stats. And so you need to strategize and work around how you can beat your opponents pack of fighters with your pack of fighters they all have different attributes etc etc so that's the premise of the gameplay currently in the alpha stages just has a very fun art style and also the way the play to earn will work is by completing a series of quests and of course you have 
to win in order to earn money in this game now play to earn is not supported yet as the game is not currently released it is still in development but it is a game you need to keep your eyes on as is anything gala games related ladies and gentlemen i just had the privilege of playing the early alpha version of number seven uldor Uldor. This is an adventure MMORPG, but I have played the PvP battle in the arena. Well, it wasn't PvP, it was PvE. That's my bad. It was player versus environment, so I have not played against other players. I have fought the NPCs. I've tried to utilize a bunch of different weapons, so I used a normal sword. Then I tried to destroy them with a sword and shield. And as I was destroying them with a sword, sword and shield in the next game, I was like, let's try the axe, the huge battle axe, and just destroying waves and waves of zombies and skeletons and enemies until I got the katana then I was slicing them up with the katana and all in all for a very early alpha development of the game this is very good looking we want to talk about the technical side of things and so we will 70% of their token distribution will go to the game drops 15% is for giveaways marketing and mint rewards 10% is reserved for the company and 5% is for the liquidity pool now that looks great 70% for the game drops that looks great a distribution over a five-year period also amazing so there's a hundred million coins to be distributed it has the maximum supply of a hundred million this is an ERC-20 token on the Polygon blockchain on Matic, which is a layer 2 solution for Ethereum. More and more games joining Polygon, as well as Dead Drop from Dr. Disrespect, will also be on the Polygon network. It already is on the Polygon network. But how do you actually earn for free? So many quests and other tasks will reward you with the Rooney upon completion. Participating in the faction-based PvP will also reward players with bounties for killing each other, for taking objectives objectives or just contributing resources to their faction the rewards will be dynamically distributed over the five year period so thank you for watching my name is the inspector hope you enjoyed i'll see you all next time